everybody, I'm Bishop. And I'm Dr. Steph. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of this wonderful YouTube channel. We're grateful to have you on our life, our journey. Our truth. And we're so excited to have you. And let me tell you something, all of you who comment, mm -hmm. who share, it means a lot to us. And we appreciate it every single week that you are connected mm -hmm. to this mm -hmm. channel. Yeah. We don't take it for granted. Every week you, you log in and we want to encourage you to share it, but we want to also encourage you to subscribe. Subscribe. That's what helps us keep the momentum going. And we appreciate you for doing that in advance. Let me tell you, you have to follow Dr. Steph Walker and get more of her content, things she's doing out there. She's out here winning with this, man. Inspirational messages she's putting out there for you. Follow me at Joseph Walker 3 both on Instagram. We appreciate you so much for doing that. We're so excited. And of course, if you want to tap into our books and other things, go right there to josephwalker3.org. You can connect and get all the content, merch, whatever you want to get. We are extremely excited about becoming a couple of Destiny Con. Conference. Coming yes, up, yes, man. yes. We That's want right. you, you and you to come, whether you're married or you're single. If you're single, you say, why would I come to a marriage conference? So you can know what to do when you get ready to get married. Right. So you can Preparation make your, is key. Yeah, yes, right? make your way to Nashville. Here's the information right here at the bottom of the screen. You see it, you see it, you see it? I want you to register. Make sure you become a couple of destiny. Meet us at the Renaissance Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. It's going to be amazing, and we want to see you there. I promise you. Today's topic is something. Them. Boy, I tell you, everybody is going to have fun with the day. Now, the men, I need y'all to rock with me. Rock with me because I, I got you. I got you. I know she's got the sisters. We're going to talk about how you work through frustration. Yeah. How do you work through frustrations? And uh, when it all comes to a head. And let's yeah. just, you know, yeah. one of the things about this channel, we promise you guys we would do is we would be very transparent. And I know sometimes you see us do these and you think, oh, they're just such the perfect couple. They give all this great advice and they do all these amazing, extraordinary things. But let me tell y'all something. There are moments in which we get so frustrated with one another. It is, <laughs> you, 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 one of the reasons why we refuse to do a reality show <laughs> when we were invited to do one some time ago, right? We were like, we don't really know. If people can handle our truth handle like that. <laughs> and here we are putting our life out yeah, here now. Yeah, so who yeah, knows yeah. what God has in the future. Yeah. But we were saying that in the sense that, yeah. you know, we're human beings. Yeah. And in the relationship, you're Very going to have people. moments yeah. that you're frustrated. Mm -hmm, or you're challenged. You're challenged. Mm -hmm. And I want you to hear this. I want you to yeah. lean in now because you and your boo or you and yourself, whatever it is, you got to understand Frustration is going to happen. Anytime you have two people who are highly opinionated, mm -hmm. people who have certain ways in which they want to see things done, mm -hmm. you're going mm -hmm. to have misunderstandings. You're going to have tough conversations. Mm -hmm. You're going to walk away frustrated, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to work through mm -hmm. it. And we were very committed to, at the onset of our marriage to say, we got this box. We yeah. talked about it in the first episode. Yeah. We got this box. And no matter what, we're not leaving this box. We're going to work it out in this box, graffiti on the box, you know, all kind of stuff on There's the box. There's no windows, no doors. No exit strategy. There's no exit strategy. We are going to work no it out. B. You're in the box. You got to figure it out. So, yeah. I think it's important when you're dealing with frustration to accept that every single person experiences it. Yeah, You can, sure. You're not... Yeah. It's not just unique to you. Mm -hmm. It's not just unique to your relationship. Doesn't it doesn't mean your mean relationship's that, in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. oh boy, we know mm -hmm. every single relationship yeah. has frustration. And if you haven't had any yet, just wait. <laughs> Keep on living. <laughs> right, right, It's right. going to happen. Yeah, Keep and then I would argue that if you're in a relationship and you've been in a relationship for an extended period of time and you're like, oh, we always get together, or we always get along well, well, I would argue that someone is not being honest and that someone is not uh, allowing their true self to be present um, because when you are your authentic self, there's no way that little things don't bother you or there's no way that your opinions um, sort of don't uh, collide. And I'm not saying they have to be, you know, catastrophic conversations or discussions, right. but disagreements will will occur. So. so so I'm curious. I'm curious. Um you see how he's tapping his finger. I gotta get ready for this one. What 
frustrates you about me? Oh, I got a whole list. Let's no, get just... it. <laughs> let's get it, because I'm next. Yeah. Let's just what go, let's go one for me? one. Let's go one for one. So I think what fr frustrates me in general, um, not just with him or just anyone, but, you know, is if I feel like my needs, my wants, desires, my personal passions are not being valued. Because I feel like sometimes when you are with someone who has a high power job, position, influence, what have you, they're very tunnel visioned and they can be very tunnel vision in terms of their own personal agenda and what they need to get done. But sometimes they forget that their partner is a separate human entity and is not necessarily always going to fall suit in terms of what they're doing in their respective life and that side of their life and that what I want and need has to be honored alongside of what the world wants and needs. And so that I think is my number one frustration so do you think, as of late. Do you think that people who do what I do, not just pastors, but people who are very, you know, high functioning and they're focused in, in their careers are often oblivious to what the need is? Or do you think it's 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 egregious? Do you think it's intentional? No, like, I, well, I think it depends on the person, right? Like there's some people who are just narcissistic and they do just think about themselves, right? I think there are some people who are just extraordinarily busy and just focused like that and they have to allow themselves to just get in that zone, right? And that's how they are successful. That Being in the zone and being that beast in that moment breeds yeah. success. Yeah. And sometimes you can't allow yourself to be distracted by other people's needs. Otherwise, you can't be successful at what you do. So being a type A personality, I understand that too. But I also think that when you get with someone who was like that, you have to have the strong enough personality to knock on the window when they are in that tunnel vision phase and be like, hey, yeah. I'm still breathing and I'm over here and I still have needs. I get it. Like yeah. you have to be in beast yeah. mode and you have yeah. to be focused, yeah. but That's I got things that I need to get done too. So how are you going to support me in this season? That's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. All right. I have one. All right. And every, every woman, listen to me. Because I'm sure the majority of the men are going to be like, you hit it on the head, Bishop. I'm going to set this up, though. You talk about being in beast mode, being successful. Most men, most real men are out here trying to win, provide for their families. Trying it's, at least, yes. Yeah, and so for the most part, they value you know, every second of the day because time is money. And so they operate. The reason why they're able to do what they do is because everything has a space and time and et cetera. Mm -hmm. And what frustrates men regarding women and I think what's Are you talking women. about you too? Yeah, I'm getting to say it. Okay. You see I'm see see, look, right. see this see this. I'm and, ready and, for and, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so it, it, and is it is I personalize it, frustrating yeah. me concerning you, is time. What's Ooh. that what does that mean? I don't know what that I'm means. I'm like completely ready. Let's go, let's do it. Uh and I'm like, hey it's time to go. Uh, I'll be ready in two minutes. I'll be ready. And that proverbial two minutes is always like five or ten minutes. Or sometimes it's like, well, what's the big deal? It's only like ten minutes or whatever. Or you could tell your people to wait. They work for you. Or you could tell them. I'm like, no, I tell them to be on time because I value time. And because I was taught and trained if you're on time, you're late. So for me, it's a frustration because I absolutely don't have those extra minutes to waste because in my mind, in order to maintain all the different things that I'm doing at the level in which I'm doing, waiting is incredibly frustrating. Now, I understand that I don't have to put on the glory like you do. I don't have, you know, I don't, it, we just get up, you no, know. No, he actually doesn't understand. I, well, I don't. No, he had to learn because he had to be taught, See, right? He would have to, like, he'd be like, so he's bald and he doesn't wear makeup and all he has to do is take a five-minute shower, jump See? out, and get dressed, right? 
And so he'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to get dressed. And, you know, when you sometimes went, you know, you would, let's say if you're in a hotel, you know, it's only one shower. He would go take a shower first. Well, if you know See? that I take longer, then you should allow me to take a shower first. But that's shower. neither here nor there. But what ends up happening is he wants, he doesn't want you walking out looking like a jigaboo. So then what do you need to do? You need to be, you need time to do your hair, your makeup. You got to get yourself together. If you did take less time, then no, there's no telling what you would go out looking like and you're trying to represent him well, right? So one time he got upset at me because he was like, well, when you, when we go out to X, Y, and Z, you take such a long time. But when you go out with your friends and your girls, you Let's get up go. and you go for five minutes. Well, yeah, because when I'm going out with my girls, I'm not doing my hair and I'm not putting on my makeup. I am throwing my hair in a ponytail, throwing on a hat, because that's my crew and there is no expectations. And that's why I'm getting out the see, door in five minutes. See, but you have all these expectations of how, what kind see, of prize you want on your goes, arm. So goes. at the end of the day, I'm not gonna go out there and embarrass you. I'm not gonna go out there and embarrass myself being in front of lights, camera, action, see. and looking crazy. So you have to be patient. And oh, see. by the way, see. Yeah, I'm going to run amok with this one. See, and then, oh, by the, the way, <laughs> and then, oh, by the way, there have been at least a hundred times where we have been like five minutes late mm -mm. just to have to get somewhere and wait mm -mm. for 30 and 40 minutes for other people to arrive. So I have learned yeah. that even though he pushes me to be like, oh, we got to hurry, hurry, hurry. In my mind, I'm thinking, who are we meeting? What is this event for? Blah, blah, blah. And then he always says, thank you, because yeah. at the end of the day, we did not need to be there that early. So, that so, 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 valid points. Thank you. All of them no, are valid well, points. Well, 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 all right, take it in. Also consider the fact, yes, valid points around if you got out your girlfriends or whatever, but there are moments where she, she has an event some big event that she actually has to get dressed dope down for, and it's involving her. She will get dressed and will tell the whole house, let's go. Yeah. And we're like, yo, we, we can't be late. I'm like, who is this? That's a stranger now. Like, she is dressed, whatever. And then we're like the, the slackers. I'm like, wait a minute. How can you get so dressed and ready for That's this? True. Right, true. right, right, right. That's and true. so, what, yeah, one. exactly. So it's like you're trying to say I have double standards. Yeah, but I, you said it. I didn't say it, right? <laughs> but I think, though, like, for me, and I used to say all about it. Yeah, we have fun with the guys. So don't, don't, you don't have to think we need therapy through this. We're, we're having fun. But the issue is it's real. Yeah. And we've learned to work through that frustration because what I've learned to do is I've learned kind of to accept it. So some of the things I do to accept it, one of the hacks I have, I tell a program to start at 7, start at 6.30. So, uh, you he know. Let's do that. <laughs> It helps, so I mean, <laughs> hey, it helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we always end up on time. So, you know, our, our, our other hacks I do is I you really try to assist, I make adjustments. Yeah. And I try to because I know that she has to carry a lot of things that I don't have to carry to do, et cetera. So I try to eliminate a lot of the distractions and to support her mm -hmm. and to give her the space. And so I'm like, I'll get the children dressed. Don't worry about it. I'll do so this. I'll do that. that's actually and it, an and excellent helps. point. Yeah, Thank you yeah, for saying that. Yeah, yeah, so all yeah. you parents out there, like... One of the big things in terms of getting out the door is getting your kids ready. Like, yeah. you have a whole family. Like, yeah. if you are a person of one and you don't have hair and makeup and all you have to do is get dressed in 10 minutes or less, and not only do I have to get myself dressed, but I'm running upstairs getting my kid, my 5-year-old dressed, helping my 11-year-old, have to do hair, m you know, makeup, not just for me, but for her, and then getting him dressed and finding his shoes because he he's fully dressed and he gets undressed in the car. And, you know, like all these things. Like right. <laughs> if I'm the only one doing that, like yeah. you can't yeah. be frustrated. Yes. So part of it is, you know, getting to the bottom of the frustration and agreeing to partner, right? So I have to be honest about what my needs are and what I have to do in order to meet his expectation. But then also what do I need from you? Yeah. What kind of help or assistance do I need from you? So right. as opposed to you sitting and kicking up your feet and reading a newspaper for the next 45 minutes while I'm struggling and trying to get the whole house ready, right. help. Yeah, yeah. H-E-L-P. How? How are you contributing to being part of the solution? Got it? All right. So I'll give you one more. What, what else? Come on. I could take it. Come on. Since you got this whole laundry list of frustrations, 
talk to the talk to the men because I'm sure whatever it is with me, they have it with their men too. So one of the things that I get frustrated with him about is like, well, I'm gonna give you two. And I'll make them short. Wow. <laughs> is in the event, like, let's say if you know, frequently in the beginning of the year, well, usually we have, we're, we're, we're planners, right? So we always get our whole ent entire calendar planned in terms of our family. But every once in a while, it doesn't happen, right? And so we have these family trips that we need to plan, but he's like, this is where I wanna go with my boys. Da -da -da. What time out? Like, we agreed years ago that we would first put our calendar for our family first. And then after that, you can do whatever you wanna do. So like deviating from the plan of structure that we've created, that is one frustration. It's a big frustration because I'm a, I'm a type A and I'm very orderly. And so when things go out of that order, it just, and everyone's not like that, of course, but that for me is a big one. I'll okay. stop there. Okay, all right, cool. So. Uh, I mean, I got so many on this list. Let me just uh, let me pull up one. Uh, so we can have a plan. Plan. She's right. Plan, calendar, whatever. Let's talk about plan. We're going to make these concessions budgetarily. We're going we're gonna to not do this, not do this, not do that. We good? We good? You good? All right. And then we start putting on the calendar all the stuff we're going to do. And I'm saying, well, based on the cutbacks we just said we were going to do, what are we doing different? And she goes, no. Nothing. <laughs> Guys, I'm like, can you help a brother out? What is this? Well, uh, the, no. See, now, here so, we go, justification. So, we, time out. Yeah, okay, so, here we go. one of the things that I am <laughs> really big on is family time and experiences, I right? It. And so, at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to, let's say, if we feel like, okay, like this year, maybe we won't need, we don't need to be so extravagant and like we need to, you know, cut back on X, Y, and Z because we have these other goals that we feel are more important financially. That to me does not mean not go on the trip. That to me means that instead of giving, getting the presidential suite, you get like a junior suite, right? Like we know how to be regular, you know what I mean? Like we can just do regular. We don't have to do A plus 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 all this extra stuff, right? That is astronomical in the fees. We can actually live life simply and still have an enjoyable, joyous time. But this one over here, because he's so used to his like lifestyle, he doesn't want to compromise. And I'm like, I'd rather have the experience. Whoa. You still be on the bus. <laughs> I'd rather have the experience. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Than time not out. have the experience Yo, at all because we have to minute. spend. Yes. Yo. So, okay. All right. Cool. All right. I got it. <laughs> Get the spirit ticket. Let's go. Spirit, here we come. No, no, here we no. go. Here we, <laughs> we got the Holy Ghost. We're going to fly. Spirit. Oh, spirit. No, we ain't going. Yeah. Come on. Come through. No. This is, this is, this is, so, so, like, granted, like, he does love have the spirit, though. Love the a spirit. point in terms of, <laughs> his point is always, look, at the end of the day, if you work this hard, I work hard, then you shouldn't have to compromise not, on your wants, I'm needs, and desires that. when you go on vacation. Exactly. And I agree with that. Exactly. But to me, I don't think that you have to, it's not all or nothing. Yeah. At some point, you can say, okay, well, we're going to make some concessions. I agree. So that we can still do this and do it in an enjoyable way. Because the reality is the kids don't know the difference. Yeah. They don't know any difference. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I think, I think too, it, it involves a level, which is a level of sacrifice as yeah. well. I think even yeah. if you make those concessions, you still have to look at, we as men look at the bottom line. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, however you make those concessions, we said we weren't going to do this, so we have to do what we said we were going to do. So I think, you know, in every relationship, guys, <laughs> as you can see, we are absolutely normal like you. And we have, whoo, we have a, this should be a part two later on. I think on. the reality is when it comes to frustrations, they will occur, they will happen, you will have disagreements. It doesn't mean that your relationship is on the brink of disaster or yeah. anything. It just comes with the territory. And if you're being real and you're being authentic to who you are, then you there will be disagreements. And guess what? It's okay. I think the most important thing is communicate, like be able to explain, and you don't have to point fingers. You did this and you did like, this is how that makes me feel. And this is what I feel like I need in this situation as opposed to you ain't doing this and you ain't doing that yeah. and you da-da-da-da. Yeah. Because that, I feel, puts the men on um, sort of 
defense. And it also, I mean, for me, if he does that to me, I just completely shut down and I'm over it before it even starts in terms of the conversation, right? And so I just feel like just being mindful of that, but then at the same time, like laughing, being able to laugh at it. We laugh at it. You know, people are dying every single day. There's world wars all over the world. It's like not stuff that is happening all day, all it's over the not world. That the world serious. is crazy, and it's not that serious. And so understanding. And we all, you know, one of my girlfriends asked me this question years ago. Like, do you want to be right or do you want to be married? Yeah. You know, it ain't that serious. Yeah. Laugh at all. No one's dying. It's really okay. No one's bleeding. No one got cut. There are no broken bones. Guess what? It's not that serious. So you may be frustrated, and you may be irritated but never make it cause you to come to a place of resignation. Yeah. This is about working through it, and I'd rather be frustrated with you than be sitting around frustrated by myself. And I'd rather be on Spirit Airlines. Than... I heard a lot, right? <laughs> get them tickets, let's go. And not be with you, honey. Oh, let's get them tickets here. Mm -hmm. We on our way. Y'all about to see it happen, too. We're gonna blog that <laughs> yourself. Anyway, <laughs> thank y'all for watching this episode. <laughs> I'm Bishop! Dr. Staff. <laughs> Peace out.